Hi Pisces, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe, <coughs> excuse me, doing well. A couple things before we get started with your reading. One, uh, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. Uh, this reading may not resonate with every Pisces out there, so take what resonates with you. You can check out, check out your other signs, your other placements. There is a link below in the description box, okay? If you enjoy the reading, please give me a like, a share, uh, you know, a comment if you like. I do appreciate it. It helps me uh, grow my channel. And then secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and all of that information is in the description box as well. I do try to post daily for, uh, messages for you. So with that, Pisces, let's just get started with your reading. Uh, I have a mixed two decks. This is the Butterfly Oracle and the Moonology deck. We're going to see what messages are meant for you. So Let's see what Pisces needs to know. What's the energy here for Pisces? What is What messages do you have here for Pisces? All right, we got one, two, ooh, three. That one came out very, very fast. All right. Let's see what we have here, Pisces. So decisions, all right? So you have decisions here. You also have here memories, okay? So this could be something I feel that has been on your mind uh, for quite some time. Could be a particular person here, somebody that you've made memories with, okay? But there's some sort of decision here you're having to make. Now, it can be in any area of your life, right? But I do feel it's something here where, you know, you've either put some work into it, maybe you've made memories with a specific person, because you also have here, hold your vision, all right? So I feel there is um, some sort of maybe goal um, or visualization of what you want to happen in this situation. They're saying still hold it, right? If we can hold that vision, you know, almost feel like we already have it. It's a great way you can manifest what you want to happen in the situation. So it does feel like there are some beautiful memories here, okay, with this butterfly, right? Definitely an energy there. So there may be some upcoming decision here or decisions you're having to make. So with that, uh, Pisces, let's pull your tarot. Let's see what's, uh, what's, what else we have here? I want to say um, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck and you also have here a new start is coming. Um, oh, and I want to say here you have finances too. So some of you, this could be related to your finances for others. You know, it could be some other situation. It could be a loved one or a love. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Let me get a few shuffles in here. I already did uh, some pre-shuffle. I won't do a ton of shuffling, but let's cut the cards. Now, I want to let you know that roles can be reversed if you're dealing with a specific person, roles or energies. So take it how it resonates for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do we have here for Pisces? What is Pisces needing to know? Messages here for Pisces. Okay, so we have here the Page of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. The Star card. The Eight of Cups. And we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so interesting. Yes, there is some sort of decision here. There's some sort of offer that is coming your way. You also have the Nine of Cups. So this could be something that you've been hoping for, you've been wishing for here. But let's see this Nine of Cups. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Star card. I feel... Um, Pisces, there's definitely some sort of message coming your way, all right? I feel like this could be something that you've been hoping for, you've been wishing for, right? Something you've had your eye on, something you've been thinking about. 
And what's interesting is I feel like it's coming your way, or maybe you've been hoping, right? Having the hope to receive some sort of message, maybe um, also maybe to receive uh, something financial here, okay? It feels like some sort of message or communication. So it feels like you've had the hope for communication or some sort of money here to come in for you. Now you have the nine of swords and you have the eight of cups. So I feel like this definitely has been on your mind. And that's what I felt here with the memories is that this is a situation that's been on your mind for quite some time. You've had a vision, you've had a plan maybe, you know, there's probably still some decisions here you're having to make, or maybe you don't know what to do because I feel you may be very caught up in your head and this, this even can be, you know, fear here, emotions here. Maybe there's a situation you're taking a different direction here in life, whether it's love, whether it's career, um, as I said here. So potentially here I feel maybe you've had a hard time, right, of moving forward or maybe walking away from a situation that wasn't working. So we'll see what this is. Now you have... Um, the Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups, which is just beautiful because this shows me here upcoming, there is some sort of offer here that's being presented to you, right? This could be what you've been hoping for, you've been wishing for. Now, the interesting thing is, is you got an offer here. For some of you, it could be a love offer. Some of you, I pick up, this could even be some sort of job offer, right? Um, and I get that you're hesitant here with that Four of Cups. There's an opportunity be, being presented here, but I feel a hesitation. And it may be this worry here, this fear, this worry here. Uh, maybe also feeling, I feel with this Eight of Cups, maybe you feel you have other options to explore as well. You know, some of you, you know, if this is a work situation, I feel like too, there could be some sort of... Uh, offer or change that you are making and you may have to relocate and that's the energy I'm picking up there and that might be why you're hesitant but with this four of cups I always say the universe is telling you that at least investigate the offer right at least investigate what the offer is now if it's uh, you know a love interest you know listen to what this person has to say you know, even if you have other offers, right? Or you have other things going on in your life, okay? Maybe you're focused on career and, and your money right now, all right? Let's pull some more cards. We'll see uh, what else comes out in your spread. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What else can you tell Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? Okay, so there's the decisions here. Two of Wands. You have the Five of Swords. And you have the Sun card. Wow. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Three of Wands. So I feel, Pisces, you have opportunities coming your way. I feel an energy of expansion. I feel an energy of, again, this is uh, hold your vision, right? This is definitely a visionary energy here with that three of wands, looking out and towards looking ahead in the future and looking at the possibilities, exploring your options. So I feel there's a situation here that you may be making a decision um, to make some big life change. Uh, and I feel like it could be in either career or a love situation because you have the two of wands here. There's two paths. Right, and um, I feel like you already have set some sort of intention or you already have a vision of what you want your future to look like. Some of you, like I said, there could be some sort of travel or uh, home relocation or something like that having to do with this, whether it's in love or it's in career. And I feel like you're trying to find your balance here, right? You know, without losing hope, okay? Staying uh, hopeful here, having faith. Now, you have the Five of Swords. So this, this is showing up in your worry energy, right? Your worry energy. And I feel like this is the emotions of your situation. So you may be healing from something, right? Maybe trying to find your balance again uh, after some sort of difficult time. 
um, or it's just that you're taking a new path. There is a new journey here for you. And, you know, you're struggling a little bit with this, right? Maybe not knowing what the right choice is. But I feel here too, if this is a love situation, I feel like this could be a, uh, where, you know, you could have had an argument with someone. It could be a, a loved one. Um, you could have had um, been dealing with somebody here who, you know, does show could be possibly emotionally unavailable. There could have been, this is my third party card. But what I want to say, okay, if you're feeling this way right now, right? You're feeling unsure. You're feeling worried. There's decisions here you have to make. I feel the upcoming future here looks good. For some of you, I feel like this is um, this could potentially could be a new love offer. Some of you, this is um, a new offer to re to relocate or move. Could be a job offer. You know, it could be family. You know, offering for you to move closer to them or a friend or something like that, okay? But you have a worry. There's some some sort of new offer coming your way, okay? But it does feel like there's a lot of potential and there's a lot of growth. This could be the person here that you were in conflict with, okay? I'm going to clarify this Knight of Cups. We're going to see what this Knight of Cups is all about. For some of you, you know, you could have more than one offer here and you're not too sure what to do. What's interesting, you have the death card as well, strong Scorpio. All right. So this is a transformation I feel you're going through in your life. And there may have been, you know, there may have been a previous ending. Could have been a job ending. Could have been um, a relationship that ended here. But some of you, this could be the offer you've been waiting for. Okay. This could be the offer that you've been waiting for. It's bringing a lot of peace, joy, and happiness. But there's a decision, there's a path that you have to choose with this two of wands. Okay, so we have strong Leo energy, we saw Scorpio. Uh, we have fire energy, air energy, strong Aquarius. Okay, and we have earth energy. So we basically have all the signs and then I called out the strong signs. So very interesting here. I wanna clarify what this Knight of Cups is, all right? Let's clarify what the Knight of Cups is for Pisces. Who is this Knight of Cups? What is this offer here for Pisces? Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Who is this Knight of Cups for Pisces? You have the Knight of Swords. You have the Ace of Swords. You have the Devil, Strong Capricorn. I'm going to pull one more. And you have the chariot. Bottom of the deck. Oh, look at that. Five of swords. Right? You have the five of swords here. I feel like this is a situation that you've been trying to move on from. It feels like there was some sort of conflict with a particular person. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a lover but or love. It could be anybody, you know, in your life. It could be family, friends, what have you, okay? This is what I get here, Pisces. I feel for a lot of you, this is a love situation. And um, now that I'm seeing this, with the clarification, I feel like you may have um, decided to like move on from this situation. You know, it may have been a third party. It may have been a breakup, um, an argument, uh, somebody here who was playing games with you. Um, but what I get here, Pisces, I feel you've been trying to move on from this. You've been trying to heal from this. And though I do feel like there is some, some hope here that you were hoping to receive some communication from this, pe this person here, or th maybe this person had to make a decision between you and the third party. But what I do see is I see this person coming back around, okay? You have the Knight of Swords and you have the Ace of Swords. This is somebody coming back around with communication, all right? Somebody coming back around... Um, it feels like they want to, they want to clear something up. It feels like, um, they're hoping that you and this person could have a, a good conversation. Now you have the devil card and you have the chariot. I'm going to say, um, uh, Pisces, 
could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Capricorn. But this could be somebody here who could be a bit um, controlling. Um, this could be definitely somebody who lives at a distance from you and they're coming towards you. They could even be traveling towards you. But I'm also going to say here, this person's going to be a temptation for you. All right. And maybe that's what the worry is. And that's maybe here, that's what the, the hesitation is. Um, I'm going to clarify why the devil card is here. Why is the devil card here, please? Why is the devil card here, please? Seven of Pentacles. Judgment. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this feels like somebody you've invested a lot of time with, okay? I'm just going to say, do pick up. There could have been a, a, a karmic situation between you and this person. So the karma could have been, you know, there could have been a third party. For others, I feel like this could be somebody that had some sort of addiction um, or there was some sort of past healing that they needed to do. They needed time to take, um, they needed time away from you to take care of their past issues. And that can be a lot of things. It can be their own healing. It could be they had unresolved past relationships that they needed to take uh, take care of and move on from, okay? So I feel like this is someone who's had time to reflect on the situation. And I feel like, um, I feel like they've put whatever in the past in the past. That's what I'm getting there, okay? So I'm going to see here why this Four of Cups is here. Why is the Four of Cups here, please? Why is the Four of Cups here, please? This is that hesitation. Six of Cups, the Lovers. Okay, so again, yeah, you could have been dealing with somebody where there was more than one person here. And the Sun card. Okay. Yeah, you're hesitant here. I'm not too sure you know that you want to work on things with this person, okay? But it's interesting because you have the Sun card twice here, Strong Leo. You also have Gemini energy here with the Lover's card. So, you know, what I get here, um, some of you, you could have more than one option. I'm just going to say you could have a new love, right? This even could be a new person coming in here. You have the page and then the night and then the somebody from the past. So some of you may have a choice between two, um, a new love and somebody that you've already shared time with and made memories, okay? But I'm also getting here, this could just be, um, you know, somebody coming back to you who hurt you and you're having a hard time making a decision, you know, whether this is, you know, really going to go anywhere or what the potential is here. All right, so let's uh, pull some more cards. Let's see what additional messages come out for you. And you know, if, if there is distance between the two of you, that could be a factor, that could be a worry. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What else can you tell Pisces about this situation? And then I'll take it to the extended Pisces, and we'll look at how your person is thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions love messages and guidance as well so let's see here we have the queen of swords the nine of cups wow queen of swords nine of cups ten of cups and two of cups and bottom of the deck here is the seven of wands okay so definitely picking up a very guarded energy here from you pisces i feel what they're saying here be open to communication, right? Be open to communication, whether you're dealing with a new person or you know this person here from the past, okay? It's okay to have your guard up. It's okay to protect yourself, to do what's right for you, right? Still hold your visions, right? And about in all areas in your life, what you want, okay? Setting your boundaries. You're okay in this energy is what I'm getting here, but be open to communication. That's what they're saying. Look at that, Nine of Cups. We saw the Nine of Cups in the beginning of the reading. 
So this may be the situation that you hope for, but I still feel like there's a there's hesitation, there's worry here, right? You have the Ten of Cups and you have the Two of Cups, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy there. This tells me I feel like that it's it's hopeful here for you and this person, okay? Which other whichever path you choose, because some of you may be choosing a new path or you having to make a choice between two. All right, but I see a very happy relationship potential here for a very happy relationship. And this is uh, being happy emotionally, right? A lot of water energy right here, okay? And it does feel like that there is potential for you to overcome the obstacles of the situation. There is a new beginning. There is a new journey here for you. And you're not alone. There's a companion here with that full card. So really, really nice energy here for you, Pisces. You have a choice. Okay, everybody's situation is going to be different. So I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to look at this person I see that uh, you've made memories with, right? We're going to see where that goes, okay? And that may help you make uh, some sort of decision here. So Pisces, I hope to see you uh, in the extended. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.